Okay guys, so we're going to be doing a Keurig K-Cup unboxing. Here we go. <clears throat> I got these, it's 50% off, so I got as much as I possibly could. And look at all the goodies in this box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Charles um, Tierwit, Jeremy Street, London shirts. Three for only $99. Interesting. Okay, so I'll take a look at that. But here's what we have in the box. We've got some Starbucks. We've got some Green Mountain. We've got some Caribou. And we've got some donut shop. This is a special package that is um, a holiday package that they still had some of. So I was pretty lucky in that. Let's go ahead and get into each of these. So look at all these coffees, you guys. I am in love with what I've got. I'm so excited. I've got so many flavors of things that I love, things that I will like. Most of them are dark flavors, I will let you know. Most of these are going to be a dark roast and full body roasts. That's what I love. That's what I want when I go to Starbucks. So that's what I want to do when I'm at home. So when we're trying these out, you guys, this is going to be from the dark roast coffee lover. <laughs> and you'll get that opinion. So um, all of these boxes, let me see here. I got them all half price. One, two, three of these boxes are 24 packs of K-Cup pods and capsules. So the 8 o'clock and these two Starbucks brands boxes are 24 cups, 24 each box. So 24 of these 8 o'clock, 24 of this Verona, 24 of this Sumatra. Let me just go from the biggest box on down. This one is the Donut Shop brand and this is a 20 pack of K-Cups, as you can see here. This includes 20 assorted coffee K-Cup pods. And it has the full body, regular donut shop. There's eight of those, okay? And then it has eight of these dark full body donut shop K-Cups. And then it has four of these coconut mocha. Oh my gosh, coconut mocha. Four of those flavors. So three flavors in all, 20 all together of the Donut Shop. One of the most popular brands there is in the K-Cups anywhere online or in the store. So I'm really excited to try these. And I was really lucky that they had something like this left over from the holidays. They still have this gift box. Get to Keurig.com and get yours while they still got some in stock. Okay, so there was that. This I had to pay full price for. And the full price on this, you guys, I hate to even say it, was $10. Yes. So that's 50 cents a K-cup. Awesome. Okay, so for the rest of these, I paid 50% off. So I got 50% off of each of these boxes. This one I paid full price for, but it's a gift set, so that's, you know, a deal anyway. Um... And we'll start with this 8 o'clock coffee. I got the dark Italian roast from the 8 o'clock coffee because I wanted something that was going to substitute for that espresso drink that I don't get in a Keurig because it's not an espresso maker. So I wanted an espresso type coffee. So I settled for a dark Italian roast in this 8 o'clock brand because the price is great. And I got 50% off, so that means it was even better than amazing. It was super amazing. So I got myself something that I can make espresso drinks with. Then I went ahead and got um, three Starbucks flavors, the Cafe Verona, because it's a dark roast and I love dark roast. This Cafe Verona though is roasty sweet dark cocoa. <sighs> Oh my gosh, it sounds so delicious. So those are the aromas and the f and note flavor notes that will be picked up on that coffee. So I can't wait to try it in the Keurig. And then the Sumatra blend down here, 
is also a dark roast, but this one is more herbal and earthy. So it says right here, earthy and herbal. So where this one is more sweet and more chocolatey, more like a dessert, this will be more earthy and herbal. So um, I can't wait to see the difference between the two. They're both a dark roast. Then I got two 16 packs. One was a Starbucks. This is the toasted graham that came out this winter for the holidays. And a lot of people were saying this was a very understated graham, that it didn't overpower or overwhelm. It actually was maybe understated from a lot of people's opinions. And I think I remember thinking the same thing, but I did like it. It just that you had, it didn't, um, it didn't knock you down the first time you tried it. So, um, but I did enjoy it. So this is warm and toasty. Flavors of honey and cinnamon meets notes of toasted graham. So that'll be fun to try again. I can't wait. And then there's the caribou reindeer blend right here. So caribou is a brand of coffee, just like Starbucks is a brand. And this is their reindeer blend. This was their holiday blend. And it says here that it's cherry and decadent. Here's the thing. When I read the back, it says right here, let your imagination, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Let your imagination soar with the reindeer blend. A dark roast of Central American, Indonesian, and Sumatran beans. <gasps> okay, so this is going to be very similar to the Sumatran. Perhaps the cherry will be the difference. <clears throat> This is earthy and herbal. Maybe it'll be exactly the same. Maybe this will just be a little bit different. So they're both an, an Indonesian and Sumatran blend. Oh, actually, this is not. This is. I remember the Sumatra was um, um, Arabica beans and Indonesian. This one is Central American, Indonesian, and Sumatran. So. There's a the difference right there. So we'll see how that um, flavors and aromas differ from each other. Well, maybe we'll make that one on the same day. But I also got something from the store this week that I thought would go good with this Graham one that was a Green Mountain flavor. And this was a cake pack, a cake cup pack of 12 in the brown sugar crumble. The thing is, is it's a good flavor. It tastes like brown sugar, just like brown sugar. So you do have to be in the mood for, you know, a dessert coffee when you're drinking this one. However, <laughs> what I don't like about this is I am a dark roast drinker. As you can see, I like full body. I like dark roast. I like coffee to be C-O-F-F-E-E, -E -E, caps. <laughs> that's all caps that's how I want my coffee but this one is hmm where's the here it is right here this turned out to be a light roast which was a shock on my system I literally had two cups of this stuff and then took a nap no joke I literally took a nap after drinking two K cups of this so yeah, um, the flavor's okay. It's not gonna suit me for a coffee. It just won't fit my lifestyle. But one thing I might do with it is maybe mix it with the graham. What do you think? So I'll have the toasted graham with a little bit of the brown sugar. I don't know, maybe I'll do that or just, you know, not drink it <laughs> because it's not really my kind of thing um i have so many other flavors to go for right now i'm not even worried about those 12 cups 12k cups because <clears throat> i have so much more here that i'm going to be enjoying okay so a breakdown again i think these two are similar to each other um because italian roast sometimes will have a chocolate flavor and this Cafe Verona is a chocolate flavor. So I think these two are similar to each other. And I think this Sumatra and the Carib this the Starbucks Sumatra and the Caribou Reindeer Blend, since it has a Sumatra in it, 
are going to be very similar. I can't wait to see what the difference is between the earthy herbal and the cherry over here. I can't wait to see how that differs in um, taste and aroma. Um, and then this one, you know, I, I know I'll enjoy it. It's a great coffee. A little understated, but it's still a full body coffee. I'll enjoy it. And these, yeah, guys, we're going to love these because that's going to be delicious. So yummy. Can't wait to try all of these. Okay, so <clears throat> what do we want first? Do I want to go with this Sumatra's? Or do I want to go with a Cafe Verona? Something I know I'm going to be... <gasps> or should I... I don't really want to break into this. I want to break into this when my daughter's here. And we'll do a review together. <clears throat> for you guys. If I can get her to do that. That would be nice. And then... Um, so for right now, do I want to do a Sumatra? And go earthy? Or do I want to go decadent? And get a little more, you know, sweet and chocolate? Is that what I want to do? That's probably what I want to do. So I think we're going to do a Cafe Verona. All right. So right we're ready back. to brew. We're going to go ahead and try the Cafe Verona. Again, this is roasty sweet and dark cocoa. And it is a dark roast blend. So we're going to go ahead and open our K-Cut box. So excited. Trying to open it nicely. <laughs> is there a way to do it when you're that excited, though? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess not. There we go. Okay, so there's the K cups. Cafe Verona. Yay, it has a little Starbucks on there. Yay. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Place it in there. Close it. Our lights are blinking. And Starbucks says to go ahead and choose the six ounce portion for the perfect cup. But I don't think I want to do that. I probably should the first time, huh, with you guys. I just think that might be too strong. Um, let me think. I'm going to go ahead and choose an 8 ounce. So, 8 ounce it is. And I'm using my Queen of Cups, which is my tarot cup. And what's cool is it does take under a minute. So, in less than a minute, you guys, this cup will be brewed. It'll be magic. And there it goes. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's heaven. Woohoo! Oh, that's paradise. Yes, it is. Woo! Oh, that's amazing. Okay, let's take a look at it. A nice dark cup of coffee. So eight ounces is fine, you guys. Starbucks just recommends that so you get a nice full, full body I'm sure. This is my um, Queen of Cups tarot cup. See, it's got all the tarot symbols. The pentacle, the, chal the chalice, or the cups, um, the wand, and the swords. So it's got all the elements on there with little hearts. Queen of Cups. Um, let me go ahead and try a little bit of it this way. Oh, that's nice. Oh my gosh. The aroma is not, um, even though it's a dark roast, it's not a burnt aroma, okay? The aroma is just deep, a deep aroma.
and it is very rich on the tongue. Again, it's not a burnt flavor on the tongue. It is just, um, mm, it's nice. Definitely a dark roast. Very good. Okay, let's get some sugar in there. This is a little teaspoon measuring. I like to put about, honestly, a, a real heaping teaspoon or three small ones. So if you see, I shake it off and just add three small ones, which is about a small tablespoon of sugar. Now let's see what the sweet does to that, because it is sweet. Oh, very the sugar, just sugar and black alone complements it very well. Let's add some cream. I have some half and half, fat-free. Okay, that's about a tablespoon of cream right there. There we go, so it doesn't lighten it too much, it stays true. And that is very nice. The cream does not weaken it. You know, sometimes even when you get a dark roast, if it's not a very full-bodied dark roast, then, um, you know, it'll just have a bad flavor but be kind of watered down by the cream. It's not. This is holding all its richness. It is full. It is delicious. Mm, I really like it. Once you add that cream in there, um, medium roast lovers would enjoy this one as well. Okay, so there's my take on the Cafe Verona. You guys will have to stick around and let's try some other flavors soon. Blessed be. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Also, if you're looking for more, go ahead and click the image in the center. That'll take you to all my playlists. And you can find me on my social media in the description below.